So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in printers and scanners. Click on it. And then once you're on this, under printer preferences, where it says let Windows manage my default printer, you're gonna turn this off. Now you want to make sure that your correct printer has been set as default. So currently for me, I have MS Publisher color printer set as my default. However, I want my default printer to be Microsoft Printer PDF. So now I'm gonna click on this. Now I'm gonna click on set as default. Now the printer status is gonna change to default. So make sure that the printer that you wanna use has been set as default. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand print queues. Now you wanna find your printer. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatic for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. I also recommend getting the latest drivers from your printer's manufacturer website. And now for the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you just wanna copy and paste the file path, which will be down below in the description. So you just wanna highlight over this, right click and then copy, come to registry editor. And now where it says computer at the top, you just wanna delete this. Delete everything that's in this path right here. And now we're gonna paste in what we just copied right now into here. So you wanna right click and then click on paste and then click on enter. It's now gonna take us to here. And then once we're here, you wanna scroll down and you wanna find print processes. So you want to expand print processes. And now you're gonna be seeing some folders under print processes. And now every folder that you have under print processes, for me I have WinPrint, you want to rename it. So once you find the folder under print processes, you wanna right click on it and then click on rename. Now at the end, we're gonna type in dot old and click on enter. So every single folder that you have under print processes, when you expand it, you want to rename, and then at the end, you want to put in dot old. Don't do it for the folders like monitors, pending updates. Don't do it for these ones. Do it for the ones when you click on the arrow next to print processes. I've only got one folder under here. You're probably gonna have the same. It's probably also gonna say win print for you. But if you have any more folders under print processes, repeat what I just showed you right now. Rename it and then put dot old at the end. And then once you've done that, you now wanna head over to search again and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on P on your keyboard. Now you're gonna find print spooler. Double click on it. Make sure you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you just wanna restart your computer. Turn off your printer and then turn it back on again and then this should not fix your problem. 